Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dylan the Great here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make your HD skin have a face. Basically what HD skins are, are skins that you can implement into Minecraft by using mods or Badline Client. I wanted to do this tutorial for a while because I saw that most people were confused on how I got a face on my skin and wanted to see how I did it. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made my face on my Minecraft skin. Please note, if you're going to be using this with Badline Client, you do need Badline Insider. It's not that expensive, it's pretty cheap, and honestly, it's really worth it for all the things that it gives you. Anyways, let's go right ahead and get straight into this. Now to start off, you're going to need Blender, a photo editing software like Photoshop or Paint.net, and a complete Minecraft skin that you want to add a face to. The first thing you're going to do if you want to add a face is open up Blender. So I've opened up Blender and pulled up my player model. Basically, all you need to do to do this is find a Minecraft rig for Blender that you are prepared to use. If you're using Blender 2.79, you can use the rig released by Actron and I called Crisis Beta. If you're on any other Blender version, then you can use whatever rig you like online. All you gotta do is find one that works. If it works, you can use it. And basically, if it has a good face that you know you'll like on your Minecraft skin, then you can use it. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure the skin doesn't have subsurface scattering. So what, basically what that is, is it applies an effect where if I go into render mode here, it looks soft around the edges and there can be light scattering through. But we're going to want to turn this off because obviously Minecraft skins are flat and you don't want to have light glowing through like it is on the side here. You're going to want to make sure to disable it for every single uh, material because I have a separate material for the face. I'm going to turn it off there as well. And now Subsurf is off. Also, you're going to be wanting to delete the hair on the rig. Now you're about ready. It looks stupid, but now you're about ready to start uh, going ahead and getting your face. So you're going to want to make a facial expression. I already have a few set up, so I think I'm going to make a new one. I'm just going to make a pretty simple facial expression here, but basically just kind of create the facial expression you want. And I'll cut back to when I am done. So I finished the facial expression that I want to be using in Minecraft. So, so once you have that, before you render, you got to make sure that a lot of things are right. First of all, you can't have a lighting. That's why there is no sun in the scene. So it just looks all plain like this when you go into rendered view. Second of all, you got to get rid of a sky. If there's a sky, you don't need it. If it's blank, just make it blank. Yeah, just basically you want to get any, any color, any kind of light just gone. You want to make it as plain as physically possible. Now for the background, what you want to do with the background is just make it completely white. Just as white as physically possible, because that's what is going to work for the scene. What you're finally going to want to do is add a camera. You're going to want to take the camera, reset the position with Alt-G. You want to press G and Z and bring up the camera. And then I'm going to get into the camera view, press G and Y and drag the camera away from the character just zoom out pretty far because i want to get the perfect angle to look at the character now i'm going to crank the focal length up super high to zoom in as far as i can onto the character so that it's straight i'm gonna want to zoom out a little bit more just to the point where i can't see the sides anymore perfect so now you have your face now, basically what you're going to want to do at this point is just hit render. Make sure you have no lighting like I mentioned earlier, and it should turn out pretty fine. You're also going to want to make sure that there is no compositing edits, any color correction, anything set up for the rig. There shouldn't be, but I have some preset on mine just because. Now, you are all going to want to take a snip of this. I would just say save image, but I feel like personally taking a snip of it and just getting the perfect snip where it's only the face is just so much easier. And yeah, this should be it. And we're going to want to jump into Photoshop. Any other editing software works, like I mentioned earlier, but Photoshop is just personally what I'm going to be using. So now that we're in Photoshop, I'm going to want to go ahead and open up my skin. All right, so now once you have your skin, it's going to be really, really small, and you don't see how a big image like that would be able to fit in your skin. 
So what you're going to want to do is go to image, canvas size, and set it to pixels, and then change it to 1024 by 1024. This will allow room for it to scale up. Now, you're going to want to scale up your skin just like this so it fits in the format. Great, so now I've got my skin zoomed in perfectly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and file and place embedded and I'm gonna go to my snips and Wendy's and add this. So once I have my snip added in, this is going to be the part that takes the most time and most tweaking. I have the snip for the face. I'm going to scale it down ever so slightly until it fits perfectly where it should go. That should be about right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete uh, actually on the main skin layer and I'm going to put the main skin layer over the hair layer or the face layer and just delete over there where the hair should or the skin the new version should be so i'm going to delete along those lines there and ta-da so obviously there's it's not going to be perfect first try so you're going to want to make some touch-ups so the first thing i would start off by doing is first of all trying to make sure there's no sharp edges at all you want it to kind of like blend through this is actually almost the cleanest I've ever gotten at first try. That's actually pretty incredible that it turned out that well. But yeah, it basically you just want to clean up the edges, make them not perfectly sharp. And I'm going to head and I'm going to go ahead and do that and skip to where I am done. All right. So now I've gone ahead and removed some minor problems. And honestly, in my opinion, this looks pretty good. All right, so now that I'm on Minecraft, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Insider tab and open HD Skins GUI. I'm gonna browse for the skin in my Skins folder and find the skin that matches. Anyways, now we can preview it in Badline Client, and as you can see, it comes out the way that it should. And eventually, once the uh, once the uh, Badline admins approve it. I should be able to start using this HD skin in game. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed me making this video. I hope this helps you in creating an HD skin. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.